So hi guys, welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial. So kung mapansin nyo, nandito tayo sa aking libro. So this is my reference for this problem for today. So makikita mo siya dito sa book ng Strength of Materials 4th edition ni Andrew Pytel and Ferdinand L. Singer. Yung sasagutan nating problem for now is yung problem 655. Find the value of EI, Y. So this sigma is also considered as Y. So this is deflection. Under each concentrated load of the beam shown in figure 655. So, ito yung problem 655 natin. So, hahanapin daw natin yung EI, deflection, or this term is mas also known as the equation of the elastic curve. So, hahanapin daw natin yung equation of the elastic curve under each concentrated load. So, hahanapin natin yung EIY ng 200 pound and EIY ng 400 pound respectively. So, given siyang answer na 3225 pound feet cube and 1492 pound feet for today, ipoprove lang natin na makakamap tayo sa sagot na to and we are using double integration method for this problem so, proceed na tayo sa ating solution so, ito na siya nagdraw lang ko ng free body diagram so, first thing na una natin gagawin is to solve for the reaction 1 and reaction 2 so, summation moment R1 equals 0 so, kung mamomoment tayo, so assume natin na yung uh, clockwise is positive summation na moment R1 equals 0 so we have 200 times distance ng 200 to R1 is 3 plus 400 distance ng 400 to R1 is 7 minus kasi opposite yung ikot ng R2 natin so it is counterclockwise so yung distance ng R2 to R1 is 3 plus 4 plus 1 is 8 So, transpose, transpose lang natin yung 8R2 sa labas. 200 times 3 plus 400 times 7. So, using calculator, R2 is equal to 425. Unit na force natin is pound. So, summation moment, R2 naman equals 0. So, ganun pa rin. Otherwise, it's positive. So, kayo bahala kung ano yung condition nyo sign convention lang naman yan mission moment R2 equals 0 so we have positive R1 so 8 R1 kasi yung ikot ng R1 to point R2 is clockwise so it is equals to 200 nilabas yun na siya sa equal sign times 5 plus 400 times 1 okay. so mapansin nyo uh, yung ikot ng 200 natin to point R2 is counterclockwise so therefore negative siya pero nilabas ko na siya sa equal sign para maging positive para madali na lang yung pag solve natin so using calculator it is 175 pound so to prove summation forces vertical must be equal to 0 forces that goes downward must be negative and force that goes upward is positive so itong R2 and R1 is positive 600 pound so somehow, itong pababang force natin is 600 pounds, 400 plus 200. So therefore, they are both equal. So, prove na yung R1 and R2 natin is correct. So now, proceed tayo sa working equations natin. So magiging working equations natin is EI Y double prime is equals to M. So ano yung M? So M yan yung internal moment ng beam. So ito, nagtatnagal ako at ito yung M. So hanapin natin yung equation ng M. So, mission moment O equals 0. So, let's assume na yung counterclockwise is positive. So, yung direction ng M. Therefore, M minus, so M siya, is so positive, minus R1. R1 natin is 175 pound. So, you know, so, yung distance ng R1 sa ating cutting section is X. Therefore, 175 times X. Next, we have 200 pound. So, yung rotation ng 200 pound natin is the same sa rotation ng M. Therefore, magiging positive siya. 200. And yung location ng 200 pound sa cutting section natin is X minus 3 feet. Or simply X minus 3 lang. And then yung 400 pound. So, we have positive 400. Multiply natin sa X. Minus 4 plus 3, 7. X minus 7. So, it is all equal to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, hindi na natin uh, pinansin yung R2 kasi yung R2 is outside sa ating, ating section. 
dito lang tayo magpo-focus sa left side ng cutting section natin. So now, ito na yung M natin. So tago muna natin yun. Mag-focus tayo dito. So yung next sunod natin gagawin is to transpose this term outside the equal sign. Para maging M is equals to 175x minus 200 times x minus 3 minus 400 x minus 7. So now, ito na yung M natin. So i-apply lang natin siya dito. So magiging EIY double prime is equals to 175x minus 200 x minus 3 minus 400 x minus 7. So yung sunod natin gagawin, so from the word double integration, mag-integrate tayo sa equation na to twice. So therefore, EI Y prime is equal to 175 over 2 x squared minus 200 over 2 x minus 3 squared minus 400 x minus 7 squared. And wag natin kakalimutan yung constant of integration, C sub 1. And then, another integration para, para maging EIY na lang siya. So, this equation will be 175 over 6 x cubed. So, bakit naging 6? So, yung, yung exponent niya, mag-add ng 1, so magiging 3. Yung 3, magiging exponent. 3 times 2, magiging 6. Minus 200 over 6 x minus 3 cubed minus 400 over 6 x minus 7 cubed plus c1 x plus c2 now looking sa atin magsiset na tayo ng boundaries so kung yung x natin is equals to 0 yung deflection must be equals to 0 so sa substitute natin yan dito so sulan natin at x equals 0 y equals 0 so hanapin natin yung variable c2 so, multiply natin ito sa 0, magiging 0. Ito, magiging 0 din. Ito, magiging negative 3. So, sa double integration, kapag negative yung part na to, magiging 0 na yan considered. Ito, magiging 0 din. Yung C1x, magiging 0 plus C2. So, now, obvious naman na yung C2 natin is 0. Another boundary condition, na kung yung x natin is equals to 8, dito, location sa R2, yung deflection niya din is magiging 0. Tandaan nyo guys na kapag yung location ng point natin is nakatutok sa mismong support, 100% na yung deflection nyo is magiging 0. So, sulat natin. So, at x equals 8, y equals 0. So, ei times 0 is equals to 175 over 6 times 8 raised to 3 minus 200 over 6 8 na x minus mo sa 3 magiging 5 na lang minus 400 over 6 8 minus 7 magiging 1 yung c1 times yung x nating 8 at pag natin kalimutan lagay yung c2 na, na value okay. so c2 is equals to 0 so as you can see ito is considered as 0 na lang yan. As you can see, isa na lang yung natitirang variable natin which is C1. So, i-plug lang natin sa calculator. Makukuha natin na yung C1 is equal to negative 137.5 pound per feet cube. So, bakit pound per feet cube? Remember na yung 175, 200, and 400 is naka-pound na unit. And then yung x minus 3 is naka-feet. So, naka-raise sa 3 to 4 feet cube. Okay? So, now na nakuha na natin yung C1 and C2, so ilalagay na lang yan natin dito sa equation na EIY, or yung equation ng elastic curve natin. So, ipaplag natin yung C1 and C2 dito. So, ito na siya guys. So, di ko na nilagay yung C2 kasi 0 na rin siya. So, now proceed na tayo sa main na problem natin. Hahanapin natin yung EIY about 200 pounds and location ng 400 pound. We set another boundary. So, let x equals, equals 3. Kasi yung 3 yan yung location ng 200 pound natin. So, at x so, at x equals 3 find EIY. So, i-plug lang natin yung 3 dito sa equation na to. 
and simplify lang. Ganun lang. So, na-substitute ko na siya guys. So, x equals 3. So, 3 dito, magiging 0. So, 3 minus 7 is negative. So, consider na 0. 1, 3, 3, 7.5. Multiply sa ito, itong term and itong term. So, i-plug nyo lang sa calculator. Makukuha natin na yung EIY under 200 pound is 3,225 pound feet cube. So, you can see negative meaning deflection or yung equation of elastic curve going downwards. At x equals uh, around 400 pound. So, yeah, 4 plus 3, 7. x equals 7. Fine. So, sinubstitute ko lang yung x dito sa equation na to. x is 7. Okay? So, 7 minus 3 magiging 4. 7 minus 7 magiging 0. And 1 3 3 7.5 multiply sa 7. Okay? So, tatlo yung terms natin na easy simplify. So, ito, ito, at ito. So, i-plug nyo lang sa calculator guys. Makukuha natin ng EIY for this condition is negative 1,491.667 pound foot cube. Okay, so ito na yung sagot natin. Saan ba? Ito. At ito. So ito yung magiging uh, equation ng elastic curve under this 200 pound and 400 pound respectively. So kung i-compare natin sa ating answer key, so, positive siya. So, yung negative lang kasi na yan is yung direction or yung location ng elastic curve sa beam natin. So, obviously, going downward siya. Kaya, negative yun. Okay? So, ito pa rin. Yung minor difference lang naman is uh, decimal places. Pero, kung round off mo, is ganun lang din yung makukuha natin. Okay? Okay? So, that's all for today's guy. Medyo makapahabag yung tutorial natin ngayon. But, I hope na nakatulong ko sa inyo to understand this deflection using double integration method so hope na nakatulong guys and thank you for watching until the end and see you sa ating next tutorial thank you and god bless